Hello and welcome to this week's Children's Liturgy of the Word. It's November 15th and the 33rd Sunday of Ordinary Time. Now let's stand up and sing our opening song. A reading from the first letter of Paul to the Thessalonians. Now, brothers, we do not need to write to you about times and dates. You know very well that the day the Lord comes again will be a surprise, like a thief that comes in the night. People will say, we have peace and we are safe. At that time, they will be destroyed quickly, as pains come quickly to a woman having a baby. And those people will not escape. But you, brothers, are not living in darkness. And so that day will not surprise you like a thief. You are all people who belong to the light. You belong to the day. We do not belong to the night or to the darkness. So we should not be like other people. We should not be sleeping but we should be awake and have self-control. The word of the Lord. Now we all say, thanks be to God.
recesses of your home, your children like olive plants around your table. Blessed are those who fear the Lord. Be Prosperity of Jerusalem all the days of your life. Blessed are those who fear the Lord. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. May the word of God be on my mind, on my lips, and in my heart, as we say, Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus told his disciples this story about the kingdom of God. The kingdom is like what happened when a man went away and put his three servants in charge of all he owned. The man knew what each servant would do, so he handed 5,000 coins to the first servant, 2,000 to the second, and 1,000 to the third. Then he left the country. Some time later, the master of those servants returned. He called them in and asked what they had done with his money. The servant who had been given 5,000 coins brought them in with the 5,000 that he had earned. He said, Sir, you gave me 5,000 coins, and I have earned 5,000 more. Wonderful, his master replied. You are a good and faithful servant. I left you in charge of only a little, but now I will put you in charge of much more. Come and share in my happiness." The Gospel of the Lord. Now we all say, Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Hi, boys and girls. Have you ever had a glass of milk that may have just been left in the refrigerator a little too long? Or maybe you poured it and send it, set it out on the counter and it got warm and you tried it and it tasted mm, a little gross, a little sour. Well, we call that term spoiled, spoiled milk. And some people even say, if you don't use it, you'll lose it. And I want you to remember that because we're going to say that again in a little while. In today's gospel story, Jesus tells a parable about a man who had some servants and he wanted to go away and he put them in charge of all of his things and he gave them each some money and he called them gifts. Well, the servants did three different things with the gifts that we didn't even hear about in this particular story. The first servant who had been given the most, he went out and he put his gifts to work and he actually doubled the money that was given to him. And the next servant was giving a little bit less, but he took his money and he was very safe with it and he didn't um, 
he he didn't make as much money, but he still made a lot of money from that. Well, the third servant was given an amount of money too, but he was so afraid that something bad would happen if he used it, that he took it into the yard and he buried it. And what, what do you think happened when that owner, the landowner came home? Well, we know that the, the servant that was given the most money doubled his money. And what did, what did the owner say? He said, you are a good and faithful servant. You have been given some, but now I will give you much more. And anyway, we don't hear the end of the story, but the third person that had buried his treasure, the, the landowner was very disappointed in him. And he said, you didn't do anything with your gifts. Since you didn't use it, now you'll lose it. Doesn't that sound a little bit familiar? Well, God gives us gifts too. He gives us our gifts and our talents and everything good, and we have a choice. We can use our gifts and our talents, and they can grow and grow and grow, just like they did in this parable. And when they grow and when they multiply, they don't only serve us, but they serve everybody around us. And that is today's good news. Let's pray now. Now let's stand up and profess our faith. Let's answer yes, I do to the following questions. Do you believe in one God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth? Yes, I do. Do you believe in Jesus, his son who suffered and died for us? Yes, I do. Do you believe in the Holy Spirit who guides us to do the right thing? Yes, I do. Oh God, grant that we live a good life with Jesus, your son, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Now let's offer a prayer to someone in need. Close your eyes tight and think of that person. Say a little prayer for them in your heart. And together we pray, Lord, hear our prayer. It's at this time of the Mass that we bring our gifts to the altar. Since we can't celebrate the Eucharist together, we celebrate an act of spiritual communion. As we pray, my Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy and blessed sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Our time together has ended, so go forth and announce the gospel. This light of my-